Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. So in this video, we are going to see how we can use user defined keywords in Robot Framework. So today we are going to work on this website, Practice Selenium Practice Form. So we are going to use this practice form and we are going to use just the first name and the last name. We are going to just fill it and we are going to see how we can use keywords onto our test cases. So here I'm just going to create a new file, a new robot file. Let's say keyword dot robot. And if I press enter, this will create a environment for me. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first create my first section, which are the setting section inside my setting section. I'm going to import my library, which is selenium library. And then I am going to create a variable section this time. So how we used to create variables in robot framework, we used to use dollar and in curly braces, we used to write the name of our variable. So let's say URL and this URL will be containing the URL of our web page. So I copied this URL and I'm going to just paste the URL. And so this way, this URL will be stored onto this variable, which is URL variable. Then let's say I want to create another variable to store our browser name. So let's say browser. So we have created another variable and inside this variable, I'm going to write Chrome. And after that, I'm going to create my test cases section. So let's create that. And after creating my test cases, I'm going to write the test case onto this section. So let's name this test case as practice form. And inside uh, the indentation of our practice form, here I'm going to write my test case. So let's say I want to open the browser. So we are going to open the browser and after opening browser, we are just going to give the URL. So instead of pasting the this whole URL, we are just going to use this variable. So I'm just going to copy this. And here after two tabs, I'm just going to give URL. And again, then I'm going to give the browser name. So browser name will be written in this variable. So open browser, we used URL and browser variables which contain the URL and the browser. So this way we used variables. And now let's say we want to maximize the browser window. And after maximizing the browser window, let's say I want to just fill, start filling that form. So let's say I want to fill onto the first name. So right click onto it. I will go to selectors hub and just copy the relative X path or if you don't have selectors of install, you can just inspect it and uh, whatever you inspect, suppose I inspect this first name and if I inspect this, you will see this highlighted text here. You can just right click onto that highlighted text and just copy the X path from here. And if you have selectors of install, then you can just click onto this arrow and you can just go to selectors of and you can just copy the relative X path from here. Or as I have told this many times, you can directly just copy the relative X path from the selectors of option when you right click onto it, if you have selectors of installed. So I'm just copying this relative X path and here I want to fill that first name. So I have already copied the X path for that. So I'm going to write input text and here I'm going to specify the X path and then I'm just going to paste the X path that I copied. And then I want to suppose type onto coders onto the first name. And after that first name is written, I'm just going to write another input text. This input text will be for the last name. So again, I'm just going to write it onto it. And again, I'm just going to copying the relative X path of last name. And after that, I will write again X path. And I'm just going to paste the X path here. And then whatever I want to write onto the second name, let's say I want to write arcade. So first name will be as coders and second name will be as arcade. So this way we have opened the browser 
we have opened this url practice selenium practice form and we opened that into a chrome browser then we maximize the browser window and after that we inputted the text we use the x mark for our first name and in that first name we wrote coders and similarly we input our second name we copied the second name x path and then inside our second name we wrote arcade so let's just fill this much only just to test and i will just minimize this so this is our test case now there comes the last section which is the keyword section so this is the main part that we are going to discuss on this video today since our test case is completed so let's try running it and see how our code is working so i am just going to write here robot and automation which is my directory name and backslash and my name of my file so keyword dot robot is name of my file and if i press enter you will see this will open the Chrome browser, once it is loaded, it will maximize the browser window and it will fill the first name and the last name as folders and arcade. So you see our test is running well. If I close this and you will be able to see our test is passed. So this is how we filled our form without the use of keywords, but we used variables in this case. Now let's see how we can write this same test case using keywords. So keywords are nothing but user defined keywords which contains the commands that we write here in the test case. So now suppose you want to write a very big test case and you don't want um, let's say this, this, these two commands, you don't want to repeat them again and again. So what you can do is you can create a keyword and you can just store both of these commands onto that keyword and then you can just instead of writing the whole both of the commands here in the test cases you can just provide that particular keyword and these two commands will be executed accordingly so let's do that i'll show you how it is done like the name of our test case we are just going to write the name of our keyword here so let's say i want to write launching browser and uh, inside a launching browser's indentation what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut both of these commands here and then inside the indentation of launching browser i'm going to paste the commands and here instead of leaving it empty i'm just uh, writing launching browser so this is how keyword works so we created a keyword launching browser and we stored both the commands here inside a keyword section and then we just called launching browser in our test case. So what this will do is first it will go on to since the keyword is written on the first line so it will go on to this part of the program and it will start executing this code first and then it is going back onto the remaining code. So let's try running it and see if our code is running or not. So you can see our code is working fine and our test is passed. So this is way we can use keywords into our program. Now let's suppose we want to create another keyword to store these two commands as well. So what I'm going to do is first I am going to get out of the indentation of the launching browser keyword and then I'm going to create another keyword same by giving one line space and then i'm just going to write here another keyword so i will define another keyword inputting text or let's say inputting values so this is another keyword we created and now in the indentation of this keyword we are going to just cut the those two commands and we are just going to paste those two commands here and now we can just write there inputting values. So now what happened here is inside our test cases, uh, we wrote only two keywords launching browser and inputting values. These two keywords contains these commands here. So what this will do is first it will go to this launching browser 
it will call this launching browser it will execute these two commands and once these two commands are executed it will switch to inputting values so again it will take the inputting values from here onto this keyword section and then it will start executing the codes so let's try running it again and see if our code is working fine or not so you see it filled our form and if i close this browser you will be able to see that our test is passed. So this way you can use keywords onto our test cases. So this is our program. And these keywords are without any arguments. Actually, keywords can be written with the arguments and without the arguments. And also we can return some value from it. So that part I'm going to show you on our next video. So this is how you can use the keyword section and use keywords into our test cases like this. And this is our code. And in our coming videos, I'm going to talk more on keywords. So stay tuned. So this is all about this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video. And if you like it, then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts, then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also, like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video. Thank you. Happy learning.